Okay, well, here's your end of the weekend update here on the Bessemer engine and generator combination. No, it's not done. No, it won't be running in this video. So if you came to here to see it running, uh, you can just leave now. Or you can watch the video, see what I did this weekend. So you remember on Friday, I showed you the layout for the control panel here. Well, here it is, almost completely assembled. The front panel is done, for the most part, I should say. I add this fuse holder here as kind of a, uh, a last minute um, addition to the scheme here. And I just happen to have these, uh, these new old stock Eagle uh, 15 amp cartridge fuses. Got the field uh, switch wired up, the voltmeter and ammeter installed, the field rheostat installed. I think the uh, the frame itself came out pretty well. I'm happy with that. I'm glad I went with these little uh, uh, you know helical uh, bars, whatever you want to call them. I think it adds a little bit of uh, uh, I don't know a little, little something to look at, draws your eyes to the to the unit so I like that it's high enough high up enough that you can still see the data plate clearly I think I mentioned that in the last video and it's not I don't think it overpowers the engine you still want to look at the engine I didn't want it to be higher than the cylinder head you know so it was I didn't want it to be like big and gaudy and in your face so it came out pretty well let's take a look at the back here Made another one of these terminal blocks here for the uh, back of the control panel. Just brought my three leads, my uh, positive and negative, the output leads from the generator, and then the one uh, uh, series field lead. So, like I said, the, the, uh, the field circuit is done. Got uh, armature positive coming out going through the knife switch, through the field rheostat, back out the knife switch to the, back to the uh, other end of the series field. This lead will also be jumped off here. It'll run up through the ammeter. This is a direct read ammeter, which is nice. I don't need an external shunt for that. So it'll go through the ammeter, down through the fuse block, and back out here. This will be, these, this will be the, the ultimate load output, so positive and negative. The only other thing I need to do back here after I do the, uh, I guess the load wiring is the uh, voltage sensing for the uh, voltmeter here. And what I, what I forgot to mention in the previous video is this ammeter, let me show you the front. It actually says right on the face, it must be used with an external resistor. See that right there? It's a good thing I remembered to look at that because I would have hooked this up directly across the line of the generator and completely blown the movement of that meter. So going down uh, downstairs with a couple uh, I mean, of my random resistor pile and a DC power supply, figured out that this needs about 10K of uh, series resistance with the meter movement to actually give it, get an accurate reading. So I got two uh, 4.7K resistors I had laying around. You know, I, I say I say about 10k. It's it's in that range. You know, it's still an analog meter from who who knows how long ago. So you know, how accurate do you really expect it to be? As long as it's you know, give or take five or ten volts, I'd be happy. So we're gonna go with these two resistors that I had laying around. I just have to come up with a clever way of uh, putting them in line with uh, one of the studs here. So I'm thinking maybe a, a piece of fiberboard with a hole drilled in it that I can bolt to the stud with a ring on it and then the two resistors mounted on the fiber board and then at the end have the uh, the, volt, the lead coming off from the uh, terminal block here so something something along those lines almost like a PCB type board but maybe some kind of phenolic whatever I can find laying around so that's uh, that's where I'm at with that nothing else has changed with the engine I didn't work on that at all this weekend it runs pretty good as is uh, the one thing I did do was put a different spring on the governor. 
I did have some trouble getting the governor adjusted, so I'm gonna have to readjust it now that I've got that that long spring on there. You see it. So that'll be a, a little bit of trial and error, but I should get it uh, straightened out. And really, the only other thing after that, after the wiring is done, is I have to address this handle here. Now. Um, I think I, I know that people have mentioned it in previous videos, and uh, this handle you can see it's very severely pitted. Definitely not something you want to grab and try to crank the engine over with. And back when I was first getting this engine running, I found myself cranking on it a lot, uh, you know, in trial and error trying to get it to run correctly. So what I ended up doing was just put, putting a piece of pipe over here, and I just drilled a hole in the end and put a bolt in the washer to hold the piece of pipe on, just so it was. A little bit of uh, a little bit less strain on my hand with the intention of someday uh, either making a new handle from scratch to replace this or repairing this handle so I don't really want to drill out this pin that is driven in here and I can't I can't drive it out the pin goes into a blind hole so uh, I guess it's not like I can drive it straight out I'm gonna have to I would have to drill it out and, and make a new pin and install it so what I think I'm gonna do here is just uh, grind this thing down to bare steel all around, get the welder out and just weld it up and then shape it nicely with a grinder, you know, fill that hole in. I think that's the best solution at this point. Uh, it, one, it keeps, you know, most of the original part, at least the core of the original part, and it avoids all of the not so uh, entertaining, entertaining uh, job of uh, drilling that pin out, so. Other than that, uh, I got one more weekend before the Jacktown show, so I think I'll be able to get it going by then. So stay tuned for that time. Thanks for watching. Keeping with it.